What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Samuel and welcome back to the channel. Today guys will be a little bit of a different video and we're going to be discussing, is Call of Duty really reaching its end? So guys before we start the video, make sure to like and subscribe and yeah. So what do I mean is Call of Duty coming to an end? Well let's look, let's look at the past recent games since Infinite Warfare. We've gotten absolute garbage. But some have redeemed themselves. Infinite Warfare was not a good game. It was a game that the genre was overdue, outplayed, and out of date, you know. Everyone was trying to go for that futuristic style. I mean, we had Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and now, we're getting, now we got Infinite Warfare at the time. No one liked it. It was The zombies were just horrible. You couldn't really enjoy it. The multiplayer was like, you know, it, it, it was just, it was old. The campaign, I thought the campaign was alright, but it wasn't the best week I ever got. Then from there, I'm pretty sure we went straight to, what was it, World War II? Now, World War II was a great game after its launch. During its launch, it flopped bad. There was a lot of lags and everything, and not as many people liked it. But as the game aged, it got way better. Trust me, I found myself going back and playing zombies nonstop. That's how much I love that game. Black Ops 4. The game didn't even have a campaign, so off the bat, half of us guys were just not happy about that. The zombies was just horrible. They were trying to fix things that didn't even need to be fixed. Okay, the zombies we're all used to from World at War was perfect, and they kept that recipe as time went on. The thing is, is they decided to redo it for Black Ops 4, and it just didn't do it. Now, the multiplayer... To be honest, it was a polished multiplayer. I mean, the same, but the thing was, they tried adding microtransactions like they always do. With the multiplayer, you can find yourself playing more often than ever right now due to the most recent release, which we're getting to right now. Model Warfare, or as people call it, Model Warfare 2019. Before we talk about this game, that's my, one of my pet peeves, is because the original Model Warfare was Call of Duty 4, Model Warfare. And everyone calls this new one Model Warfare 2019. But let's just get that out of the way. This Mortal Warfare is the most disappointing Call of Duty we ever got in, in existence. Uh, we all know the viewing angles are broken off the bat. Weapons are overpowered and there are a lot of metas in the game, you know. Another thing, especially for us gun guys, somehow a 9mm can kill you faster than a 5.56. But somehow an AR is 5.56 won't be used for... A, a Martian Rifle 5.56? It makes no sense. Apart from that, the campaign... I don't find myself ever playing campaign after I played it once. At most, a couple missions here and there. But it's not as mem memorable as the original I mean, Modern Warfare Trilogy or even the Black Ops. And off the bat, that's already a downside to the game. Not just that, the multiplayer... They decided to call it a tactical shooter. Yeah. Okay, I wouldn't mind a tactical shooter if people were, running, were actually playing it as a tactical shooter. We got guys camping 24-7. That's not tactical. That's just call it camping, you know? Now, there's some games when you play in camp, the multiplayer, you will get man, a full-on tactical shooter. You know what I mean? We're all moving slowly at a good pace, but you're still moving around the map. And you're still rushing each other. But those games are rare. Not just that. Map design is horrible. We have not have really had a good map in such a long time, to be honest. All the maps are one either reimagined, remastered, or just horrible new maps. Of all the D S DLC maps, the only ones I really see myself playing over and over again is Cheshire Park. Why? Because that one stays true to the original style of COD. Even though there may be campers here and there. Another thing bad about the game is Spec Ops isn't memorable. I remember when we played the original Spec Ops with my cousin or my friends. And it was fun. You know? I mean, we felt like we were a task force. You know? I mean, we felt like we were doing all these cool, highly operations. Now, it's not fun. I mean, even though we have like our, or like I mean, our classic Spec Ops, it doesn't feel as cool. And same with the new Spec Ops. You have to unlock lots of the characters. It's just not as fun. It's not as memorable. They make, they 
I mean, puff the difficulty for like what half an hour of just to get one skin. I'm fine. And then what makes the game really bad is Warzone. The game is based off of Warzone, trying to cough as much cash up as it can while it lasts. The game was just a rush for money. They put no quality into it. I mean, yeah, the graphics look amazing. It's, the game sounds amazing. It's just, it's, a, it's just a rush for money. I, I don't see myself really enjoying the multiplayer. For me, the multiplayer, 30 minutes, and I'm done. And not just that. For example, I play on PlayStation. I can't even go on the PlayStation party in the communities without seeing like more than 98% of it being all Warzone. Yeah. It's kind of annoying. Not just that, the game fixed so many things that weren't needed. They fixed, I mean, they, instead of adding ranked, they add skill-based matchmaking. So you can't even play with noobs anymore. They threw in a store where all we're doing is paying $24 for a couple of stickers, emblems, some dumb-looking guns, and a skin. All of this for what, a free DLC? No. And the way Modern Warfare proved to be is that... Call of Duty has really been going on a downhill. There's, they're not producing any more quality games. They're just trying to puff money out of us. With the new Black Ops coming out pretty soon, I'm so hesitant. I haven't even pre-ordered it yet, and I don't plan on buying it within the first couple of months of its release. Why? With how bad we see Modern Warfare is? I'm not sure if I'm going to buy another game like that. And that's what's going to happen is the new blackouts might not even get to the high numbers within the first day of purchases on launch. And if that happens, that's going to be really concerning. And even other games are prospering more than Call of Duty. For example, Doom has only released two titles after its reboot. And yet, it still stands as one of the most amazing games out there. Now, Treyarch and Infinity War nearly steadily step up their game. Sledgehammer get a pass with World War II and that game becoming amazing after its release. But there's still some areas to, you know, work on. But if Call of Duty keeps on going down this line as a cough for money, or more of a hustle for money, and not a quality game, Call of Duty will no longer be Call of Duty. It's already hit its peak with Black Ops, the originals, and as well, <laughs> some of the older Modern Warfare's. They need to go back to the roots with amazing map design and gameplay. Then your quote-unquote tactical shooters. Because that's what we all want. Well, guys, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed the video. And, I mean, just leave your guys' opinions in the comment. Don't forget to drop that like and subscribe and, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.